All right, welcome back on the fifth part, yeah, uh, part five of uh, this chapter three. Okay, I was explaining that uh, we have computed the net cash flow from operations here. Okay, and the net cash flow from investment here is a cash outflow, and then net cash flow from financing a cash outflow of six hundred and thirty-three. Yeah. Next, what we do is we total these three. Okay. 879 is the cash inflow, 196 is the cash outflow, then another cash outflow of 633. Therefore, you get a net cash inflow yeah, of 50. Now, this is the net change in cash, yeah, and this must be exactly the same as this here, and it must be exactly the same as this here, yeah, this amount here. Okay, so this must be, this 50 here must be equal to this 50 here, and this 50 must be equal to this 50 here, yeah? so it must be consistent. And when you add this 58 beginning cash flow, right? This, sorry, beginning cash balance here, 58, plus the change in cash here, 50, you get 108 ending cash balance. This should be the cash balance for 2018, yeah? and you can check the answer here. It must be exactly the same as this. Okay, uh, this 108 must be equal to this 108 here. So with that, we finish this uh, statement of cash flows. Yeah, but what does this indicate? What does this indicate? Yeah, it tells you that the net cash flow from operation is uh, positive, and uh, positive is a good sign. Okay, uh, businesses should have positive net cash flow from operation. Yeah. Okay, so this is positive, which is good. Okay, and there is some negative uh, investment activity. That means the company is spending cash yeah, on increasing its fixed asset, uh, which is also good. Okay, this should be uh, negative for a growing company. Yeah? Uh, for a company that is going through restructuring, for example, they want to uh, downsize, then this may be positive. When they sell their assets, this will become positive. They get cash from selling the asset. Yeah? Then financing activity here, it is negative. Uh, gen uh, overall, so it, it shows that the company is uh, uh, paying yeah? it is its creditors. It is not uh, issuing new uh, shares or issuing new debt securities. It is not borrowing. Yeah? It is paying off, which may be a good sign. Yeah? So as long as the net, yeah, they earn more than what they pay in terms of operations, yeah? they earn more than what they need to pay, they are expanding. So this expansion can result in higher net cash flow from operations in the future, yeah, which is a good sign. Yeah? And this is repayment. Yeah? If you look at the detail here, uh, the company is repaying its loans, okay, short-term loans here, notes, and also long-term uh, debt. Yeah? It's paying back. Yeah? It's reducing its uh, indebtedness, yeah? borrowings. Okay, and it's paying out a huge sum in terms of dividend, all right? Which is uh, also good for investors, yeah? It is good for investors. But uh, you need to ask a question, yeah? Why are they paying so much to the investors? Is there no uh, uh, better investment opportunities for the business, yeah? For example, if there are more uh, uh, investment opportunity for the business, then this might be larger, even larger. Okay, and there will be less dividend paid. Yeah? So these are the questions that you need to uh, think about yeah, when you do the analysis. Okay, but here generally, this is the net cash uh, change. Yeah? It's not too large, but it's positive. Okay, if it is too large also here, then uh, there may be questions. Yeah? All right, but uh, this is reasonable. Okay, and there is an increase in uh, the cash balance from 58 it has increased yeah by 50 yeah almost 100 percent increase and the uh, ending cash balance is uh, rather high yeah so this is the uh, uh, conclusion yeah that you, you can come to from looking at the statement of cash flows is that okay all right yeah now what is this relationship yeah between this statement of cash flows with the cash flow statement that we have seen in the previous chapter yeah let's just have a look here All right yeah now we have to drag this a little bit to this side okay to see 
uh, the screen here. All right, we can hide these two uh, columns, I think. Okay, we can hide this, these few columns here because we don't need them now. Okay, so we can see, we can drag it back to the side so that we can see the full, yeah, full extent of the table or the Excel file, yeah. All right, now you can see uh, this, yeah. This is the statement of cash flows that we have just derived in this uh, chapter. And this is the cash flow statement yeah, that we have learned from the previous chapter. Now note that yeah, it is for the same company based on the same example here. right? So we have the statement of cash flows on one side and then the cash flow statement on the other side. Yeah? So note the differences. Yeah? You find that we can, uh, I'm not going to go through this all. Yeah? Uh, but you can see operating cash flow is actually EBIT plus depreciation minus tax. Okay, so you get these values, okay, which is similar but not exactly the same. Yeah? Note this, yeah, this is net cash flow from operation 879, but here it is 1016. Yeah? This is operating cash flow. This is net cash flow from operations. They are not the same. Yeah, all right. Then net capital spending, you find that it's negative 196, but it's also negative 196 here, yeah, All right, which is uh, the same, okay. So net capital spending is actually the same here uh, with net cash flow from investment activity, yeah. Now change in net booking capital, you don't find it here separately because this, yeah, has been incorporated here, not the whole, yeah. Now this, yeah, net, a change in net booking capital you include cash. Yeah? Cash has been included here, but cash has been left out yeah? because cash change is reflected here in the statement of cash flows. Okay, but cash has been included here. Yeah? Uh, it has been uh, uh, part of the networking capital. Yeah? Alright, so uh, cash has been included here, but it has not been included here. Alright, therefore you have naturally a difference. Yeah? So uh, we will look, we'll compare the difference here yeah, in the next, uh, what do you call, the next segment, okay? But this is just comparing the two statements side by side, yeah? So that you can see the differences. So when you go to the second part of the cash flow statement, you have cash flow from creditors and cash flow to stockholders, two major parts here. Yeah? Actually, this can be seen as being a, uh, uh, categorize uh, or group together as cash flow from financing activity yeah but there is a difference here yeah? why here notes yeah notes has been included in financing activity but notes here in the cash flow statement it has been included in working capital yeah notes has uh, is part of financing activity here in the statement of cash flows but it is part of net working capital in a cash flow statement yeah uh, here you have interest okay but here you don't have interest yeah interest is not uh, minus here yeah so there are some differences yeah but here in terms of uh, cash flow to stockholders they are all here the same okay from here onwards okay this reflects the cash flow to stockholders yeah now to see the difference in greater uh, detail yeah we can expand this further. Okay. Okay, and just to indicate how uh, these are different. Okay, so we can drag. Yeah, I think we have to do it this way. Yeah, uh, the screen is too small. Right. So we we can look at this one. We can just focus on this uh, this part here. Okay, rather than uh, looking at these, yeah. So we have operating here. Yeah? Okay, we start with earnings before interest and tax. Yeah, this is what is used in the cash flow statement here. Okay, we start with EBIT. Yeah, but in the statement of cash flows, we don't actually use EBIT. Yeah, uh, outright we don't use EBIT. We use net income. Yeah, that's the difference. But actually, net income is derived from earnings before interest and tax. Okay, therefore we can add, yeah, this is the value here for cash flow statement, is the same value here too, yeah, 1138, same values, note this, yeah. 
but for the statement of cash flows we minus interest from earnings before interest and tax yeah we minus seven million dollars here it is from the income statement okay seven million okay but we don't minus this in the cash flow statement yeah because this interest is accounted for in the cash flow to creditors yeah all right tax is accounted for in both okay and depreciation accounted also yeah meaning this has been added in cash flow statement it's also added in the statement of cash flows yeah all right so the only difference between these two in terms of operating activity the first part is interest yeah which is included in the statement of cash flows here but it's not included in the cash flow statement that is why it has been highlighted yeah, in red here yeah all right and then if you look at the working capital changes okay these working capital changes will include yeah in the cash flow statement you include you include cash change yeah negative 50 okay has been uh, incorporated in the cash flow statement yeah but it has not been uh, included in the statement of cash flows okay because the statement of cash flows tries to explain this by looking at all the other activities it does not include it here yeah all right that's the difference between these two yeah but all the other items are incorporated Notice, this yeah all the other items except for another item which is notes yeah notes payable notes payable is included in the cash flow statement but it is not included in the statement of cash flows is that okay all right therefore when we compute yeah uh, here we have OCF operating cash flow in the cash flow statement we don't have any yeah, similar measure here then you have working uh, capital changes you have a net working capital change or change in net working capital which is the total of all this 273 here there is no similar yeah, amount in the statement of cash flows then you have cash flow from operations yeah this is for the statement of cash flows here yeah? we have 879 when you add all this okay you get 879 yeah okay but here you have uh, two values yeah operate uh, cash flow from operating uh, activity or operating cash flow here then you have net working capital change yeah then you have investment activity yeah for investment activity the net capital spending for cash flow statement Okay, which is negative 196 is the same yeah here because you use the same items yeah same item same amount okay so therefore it's negative 196 here which is called cash flow from investment for statement of cash flows but it is called net capital spending in cash flow statement yeah now if you go to the last part here okay from financing activity you find that interest here yeah, is included in the cash flow statement okay but it is not included in the statement of cash flows because interest was deducted in the net income earlier yeah? if you look back interest has been added here has been accounted for here but it is not accounted for in the cash flow statement therefore it is accounted for here yeah all right yeah all right and so there are different placements in different uh, in these two statements yeah but basically they involve the same items yeah they are placed differently all right then you have cash flow to creditors in this statement okay which is these two yeah interest and the change in long-term debt here you don't have any such statement yeah you have uh, the total which is here yeah we'll come back to that later then you have uh, notes change, yeah? change in notes payable, which is negative 93, yeah? cash outflow of 93. This is not included in the cash flow statement. Yeah? It is in the uh, change, uh, statement of cash flows. Yeah? Dividends appear on both. Okay? And then cash flow to stockholders. Yeah? This is uh, the total of all this. Okay? You have this amount. And here, cash flow from financing activity, you have negative 633, yeah? And of course, there is a change in cash, which is which appears in the this statement, but this change in cash for cash flow statement appears here, right? So basically, the two statements differ because of these uh, three items, yeah? Differences in the three items, interest, 
cash